So I'm in Tampere, Finland today um, at the conservatory and we're going to finish off a project called AAAI, uh, Active Augmented Acoustic Instruments, which has been a Nordic project together with our friends and colleagues in uh, Oldborg, Copenhagen and also in Helsinki. And we have been working on um, augmenting acoustic instruments in our case, guitars, uh, with some kind of digital uh, systems. And from the Oslo side, we are bringing six guitars. Um, we have six performers that are going to try out how it's possible to play guitars without really moving the guitars very much. So let's, let's go in and um, have a look at this is, uh, how this is working out. <laughs> We're in Tampere Conservatory in Finland, and we're having the last meeting of uh, Active Acoustic Augmented Instruments Research Network, which has uh, participants from uh, Oslo, Copenhagen and Helsinki, and Tampere. And we've been uh, working for two and a half years, three years, on uh, building augmented instruments with Active Acoustics principle applied to them. And tonight is the kind of concert, final concert of the outcomes, and also a workshop with, with the team members and, and local students. I think what is really interesting is um, breaking of some sort of um, mapping that we have uh, in our heads about what a guitar is and can be and uh, exploring your own body through a guitar in a very non-guitar-like manner. Um, so of course playing a guitar is a very um, embodied act, but the way we treat the guitars um, and the way they enable us to explore our own body is something completely different. We have the accelerometer, mm -hmm. and we have. And what type of accelerometer is that? It's an uh, ADX L, mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z accelerometer. We used to. We also tried with gyroscopes, but in the end, we stick with accelerometers. Mm -hmm. um, so it measures uh, the three directions of movement, and we also have the infrared sensor at the front to track, uh, in this case, distance of an object in front of the guitar. And how, how long it can be up to a meter, a meter and 20 centimeters mm -hmm. approximately. In front of it. And it, does, and it looks just straight ahead, right? Yeah, it has a bit of a range as well, um, but it mostly in the, in the very front. Mm -hmm. And we have this uh, light uh, LED, light emitting di diode to, to produce uh, light in synchrony with, with the sound. Mm -hmm. And we have the mm -hmm. microphone, mm -hmm. which uh, we use to synchronize with sounds. Mm -hmm. And two, we have the actuator, uh, which um, is the main thing to convert the guitar into a big speaker. It actually it's, produces the sound. It, yeah, mm. yeah. So we produce the sound in the software inside this microcomputer, and then this uh, transmits the, the sound towards the body of the guitar. The, the patch is made in, in pure data. It's uh, built on uh, Christian Zeman's uh, Firefly algorithm. Um, and it has two voices, one lead uh, that is based on a uh, physical model of guitar. And also there is this uh, drone section. And all uh, is interactively changing depending on the user's uh, distance with the guitar and also about the sounds coming uh, from the environment. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, the the like the like on this guitar there's like a little computer and the, there's an algorithm which um, is based on fireflies. So a firefly is like making these lights all the time and then um, the different fireflies they synchronize to each other in the same phase. And basically the same is what the what the guitars are going to do uh, with a computer-based algorithm behind it. So they synchronize, they listen to each other and then there's a tone playing and they synchronize to each other in the same uh, frequency. So they start out by playing kind of a as sounds and yeah. then they listen to the other ones and then it tries to make them kind of all synchronize yeah exactly yeah. yeah and how is it doing that it uh, in, uh, here in this in this algorithm precisely it's um, like the, the phase is reset that so the tone when it's playing it's um, when there's a tone playing the phase is reset all the times so yeah after, uh, until until all the guitars doing this until like there's one uh, union uh, united tone, so to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you are a guitar player yourself, <laughs> but yeah. playing more traditional guitar. Uh, how is it then to come here and perform now with this uh, this self-playing guitars? Well, um, it's very interesting to like without touching the guitar and feel the the sound of the the plug. Mm -hmm. And I think it's even more interesting mm -hmm. than playing the traditional guitar. So a different way of experiencing. Yeah. This. yeah. Um, I think it's. Um, I think it's a um, um, different experience, and we, we spend more time on uh, how to find the sense of the, this instrument, how to explore uh, the, this instrument, rather than um, practice our skills. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, because of the guitar having a shape a bit like a human, especially if it's hanging in front of you like that, um, it also, there, there is also some sort of a personification process maybe going on. Uh, and in this, in this way you're, um, you're interacting with the guitar as another being, 